Hello there. Today, we're going to learn how to create a 2.5D animation using just a single image. For this project, I'll be working in DaVinci Resolve by Blackmagic Design. You can easily download the free version and follow along. First things first, I've prepared my original image by separating it into three layers, foreground, midground, and background. All right, here we are in the Fusion tab of DaVinci Resolve, and as you can see, we're working with a node-based system. Let's rename our nodes properly so we don't get confused later. Next, we'll start assembling our 3D layout using the Image Plane node. I'll do this for each layer and then merge them together with a Merge 3D node. Now let's move the image planes into their approximate positions. So far, so good. Next, we'll add a camera to the scene and connect it to the Merge 3D node. Then, we need to add a Renderer 3D node so we can preview the result. Great, our 3D layout is coming together nicely. Now let's tweak the size and position of the planes to get the spacing right. To add even more depth to our composition, we'll use a depth map node. In simple terms, this node calculates the distance from the viewer to the objects in the scene and generates a black and white depth map. With the depth map created, we can apply it to our image planes using a Displace 3D node. I'll adjust a few parameters on the depth map node and then connect it to our main scene. Here, I am aligning the displaced plane with the midground plane. You'll notice the parallax effect is much more pronounced now.
Let's repeat the same process for the background cliffs. Looking good, just a few more small adjustments. Now it's time to animate the camera and finish up our animation. In the camera's transform tab, I'm adding keyframes to create a subtle orbiting movement around the scene. Once the camera animation is done, let's add a little extra flair. I'm dropping in a lens flare effect and animating it to match the camera movement. And, for the final touch, a subtle film grain effect. This helps sell the illusion that we're watching video footage instead of a static image. Lastly, Connect everything to a media out node to render the final composition. And that's it. We're done. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.